Hi guys, it's me, Heidi Matrix. <laughs> Also known as Heidi Mae. You can call me whatever you want, actually. Today I'm going to show you how to do this Harley Quinn Suicide Squad makeup look. Just in time for Halloween! Yay! What fun! So, I've got my wig on. Huge tip for your wig. Lace front wig tape. So much better. Put it on the inside of the wig, then put your wig on. So, got my wig on. I've got my contouring and my face makeup on. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Before I do my eyeshadow, I like to put on my eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. Makes it last all day, which is amazing. And then I like to press eyeshadow with my eyeliner brush right into my lash line before I do my mascara. Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad movie does not have winged eyeliner, but Personally, I think I look best with a little bit of a cat eye, so I do a creative, I like to creatively change things up a little bit because ultimately you want to be your version of Harley Quinn. So whatever makes you look best, I would suggest creatively adding that into the makeup. See? Wings. And I curl my eyelashes. I like to curl my eyelashes before I put my eyeshadow on because if I get some on my eyelid, and I always do, you can cover it up with the eyeshadow. Also for this look, I really exaggerate the bottom lashes, especially because this eyeshadow is gonna come down my face, so I really wanna just make those bottom eyelashes really kind of doll-like. And you can use that by using the tip of your mascara brush and just painting on the mascara. The goal here is to get them as doll-like as possible because when you start filling in the eyeshadow, bringing it down your face, your eyelashes are gonna start looking like less and less and less impressive. So I try to make them pop. So while my mascara is driving, I like to do the eyebrows. When you fill in your eyebrows, you want to start at the top line, brush them down first, start at the top line, make a line, and then you'll brush it back up and start on the bottom line. Then you brush them up. And you fill in the bottom. Next. Eyeshadow. There are certain things that I feel like I look prettiest with. Um, I don't have a lot of eyelid, as I'm sure you've noticed. So I really like to lay down a white eyeliner and this pure white chromographic um, eyeliner by MAC Cosmetics is one of my personal favorites. Obviously, you can tell that. Uh, so I put that down on my eyelid first. This also helps to cover up any mascara that I probably 90% chance got on my eyelid. I also put this on my waterline. On to the eyeshadow. For the blue side, I use this blue eyeshadow by Buxom right here. This is gonna go right on my eyelid. I'm just gonna press it down onto the white eyeliner.
And then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. For the pink side, I use this electric palette by Urban Decay. Yay, I love this stuff. And again, I'm just going to press this pink color right onto that white eyeliner. And you can see it lays down really well. Here's the tricky part. We're gonna start bringing our makeup down our faces. Look is, she's been out fighting bad guys, right? So she was all dolled up earlier, now it's just kind of going down her face. I take a little tiny brush that's in the electric palette and I start working it down my face. And just sort of like an arc. So now I have these lines, I'm going to start just smudging it with the pink. And then bring the pink under the eye. Now for the blue side. For this blue look too, I like to come in with this darker blue right here, and I like to put that in as well. Also work it up into the crease, so it gives this really nice Harley Quinn smoky eye look. It's another MAC Cosmetics. This really dark, sort of bronzy color right here that I like to put in there too. Okay, so we've got a pretty dark eye going on right now. Now we're gonna blend it out. My favorite company is Urban Decay. Has this naked palette I use all the time. There's this really light color right here, obviously I really like it, called Venus, and I like to use this color. A lot. So I'm going to take my foundation, which is MAC Studio Fix Powder, and I have this Bare Minerals Foundation Concealer Brush. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to define just a couple pieces of this and just cover it up to make it look just a little bit more defined. Now we're going to go back in and add a little bit more pink. So this side, it's got this good sort of coming down my face. This side needs a little work. We're going to use my Stila Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner, love this stuff, and we're going to just fill in my cat eyes. Again, this is my personal spin on the character. You don't have to do this, I just personally like it. And I'm going to bring it in, in underneath the lashes. Now here's a good trick, I will use this to paint on some eyelashes. Alright, so 
then I'm going to take my white chromographic pencil again. I'm just going to put it in the corners of my eye. Just sort of brighten that up right there. And just a little bit more pink around the edges here. Now we're ready for highlighter. So I have this MAC Cosmetics highlighter. I like to push this in right here. Really make that cheekbone area just poof, light up. Personally, I like to take a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a black eyeshadow. I'm going to bring it in and just make this look a little bit smudgier because right now my cat eye looks a little too clean. Harley's makeup is going to be a little bit more smudged than this. Who's a blush? I have, again, by MAC Cosmetics, this baked blush that I like to use. I don't know what the name of it is. It's Intenso. Psych, I do know what the name of it is. It's Intenso. I put my blush a little bit below my cheekbone and then just sweep it up. Blend that up into your wig line. And then we're ready for lipstick for Harley Quinn's lipstick. It is so hard sometimes to find a good red lipstick. I have a personal favorite I have used forever since it came out. It is called Lady Danger. It's by MAC Cosmetics. It's this amazing orangey red color. Ah, super flattering. I pair it with their Kiss Me Quick Pro Longwear lipstick liner. I overdraw my lips for this because Margot Robbie has a really pronounced Cupid's bow and I want my lips to look a lot like hers. So here we go. I've overdrawn my lips, so to make them look just a little bit more natural, I'm going to take an eyeliner brush. I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked. I'm going to get a light brown color, and I'm going to put it right in the corner of my mouth. So open my mouth up. Just a tiny bit right there. And as you can see, this smile looks a whole lot more like Harley than this side of my smile. Just do it on that side too. Let's clean it up with powder foundation on my concealer brush. This takes a while, so if you don't get it right the first time, don't even worry about it. It takes me a while, too. I'm going to take my blush. I'm just going to blend this out just a little bit with my powder foundation. I use two powder foundations to do a more contoured effect. I use NC15 MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder, and I use C2. Same thing. One is just a little bit darker than the other, so I'm going to take the little bit darker one. I'm just going to buff this out. kind of smooth out that blush and contour and you can see this is smooth this needs a little work tap it on first and then buff 
All right, so I've added my tattoos. I use temporary tattoos that I got off an Etsy store. I print them out myself. I also resized them in Photoshop because they were not the right size. So you've got your eye makeup, tattoos, lipstick. Only thing left to do, if you feel like it, do a little bit of a lipstick smudge. It's so easy. All you have to do, take your finger, pull it down. That's it. Done. All right. Let your hair down. And you're Harley Quinn. Are you the devil? Crazy. <laughs> We're all ugly. <gasps> oh, button. <laughs> what a ride.